So as a software engineer, there's a huge problem that we deal with pretty much every day. And the problem essentially is that there is just always too much to learn. Everyone in the industry is always feeling behind. They're feeling FOMO with the latest technology and language and sort of a uh, pattern that people are trying to learn and get better. And honestly, it's like probably one of the hardest things to deal with in this industry. Now, with that being said, I want to take the opportunity to tell you how I have managed with this sort of feeling of overwhelm when it comes to like having too much to learn over the past 15 years of my professional career. And you may notice that I say 15 years because this is not a new problem. It's not because of AI or MI, machine learning or AI learnings, and just like what you see on the headlines today, this has always been a problem. For as long as software has been around, there's always just new things to learn and expand and grow. You want to be able to handle that kind of overwhelming feeling throughout the whole career, and then you're going to be able to enjoy this career a little bit more. So I'm going to jump into my story, and I hope that with my story, you're going to be able to have actionable uh, steps to be able to handle this sort of overwhelming feeling that you get when you're seeing that there's so much to learn and you just don't have enough time. So when I started my career in about 2008, uh, one of the big things that a lot of people talked about is certifications. I worked in a defensive contractor, so there were some value in providing certifications for sort of the knowledge that you have. And a lot of it was in the security space. So in security, there's a lot of certificates that you can get to have hey, to be able to uh, add on to your skill set and be and just basically put on your resume and, and show that you know more. So one of the biggest things that I had a problem with at the beginning is trying to learn and get as many certificate uh, certifications as possible. Now, there's nothing wrong with the certifications themselves, but the idea is that you want to work, you want to be doing this to expand your own knowledge and try to like translate that into actionable actionable ways to to upgrade your current workflow. Now, if you're just trying to cram and get that certification to like kind of check that box, then there's not that that's kind of almost a waste of time. You're kind of losing the value of what the cert certificate is supposed to help you with. And this is the problem that I ran into early in my career is that I was getting uh, certifications for stuff that was really hard to study and learn but had zero effect on my day to day. And even to today, it really hasn't affected. It's given me some sort of foundational knowledge in some areas, but by and large, I did not use that sort of knowledge in my day to day work, which, which I felt like was a waste of time. So if we fast forward in my career, another lesson that I learned is about learning things on my own. So I went from defensive contracting, kind of embedded systems, closed off networks, into the world of web development. And when I got into the web development space, there were so many like JavaScript frameworks and different ways to like build a server and a client that learning different technologies and frameworks was what I felt like was the new skill I needed to learn. Now, a lot of people feel this way is they want to learn Next.js, they want to learn React, they want to learn Angular, they want to learn Node, all these different areas so that they can check all these boxes of skills and be able to say, I can do these things, and now I want to like get a better job by knowing all of these frameworks. You may notice that this is kind of the same pitfall certifications. You can spin up your own project app in these different languages and learn the fundamentals. It's good to, to use these different frameworks to understand the fundamentals of web development, of development altogether. But again, if you're not using that in your day-to-day -day in a professional setting, then the value that you're getting by learning all these frameworks, by dividing your attention to so many different things will actually be a detriment to, to your learning because you're focusing on such a small uh, depth of knowledge for these different things just so that you can, again, check some boxes on your resume in hopes that it will help you in the future. So let's go ahead and take a step back. So what am I trying to teach you about these two kind of lessons, about certifications and learning all these different frameworks? And the idea is that uh, there will always be too much to learn, and there's so many different things out there that you want to expand your knowledge on. But the most benefit you will get out of uh, trying to expand and learn yourself is stuff that kind of directly solves a problem. Now, this could be a, you know, a personal project. This could be a uh, something at work where you currently work. If you're trying to look at a problem that you have and you want to explain your skill in a different area, if you can have that problem 
be the driving force of you learning something new, that's is where that's where you're going to get the most benefit out of any sort of learning. So that's where you can focus on. If you're focused on learning stuff that's going to solve problems for your job and for like your personal projects, and I'm talking about like not just personal project for yourself, make it so that you are helping other people. You can get different users of the app. That is where the real learning happens because when you just jump off for certifications and sort of like pet projects to learn different frameworks and you're just kind of doing that by itself, you're not getting the real value of like what you're trying to solve. It's At that point, it's just all academic. But when you're getting your hands dirty and practically learning about solving problems, then that is where you can focus your attention on. So when you sit, that, sit there and think about, oh, God, there's so much to learn. There's, I want to read this book. I want to do this course. I want to do this tutorial. I want to learn this framework. When you have all of that giving you a bunch of FOMO and anxiety about like there's way too much out there, if you just put your head down and focus on the things that you have at your day job and sort of like personal problems that you have, that's where you're going to have the most benefit of learning and being able to provide value for uh, other people, whether that's freelancing or your day job. So that being said, I hope that that helps people like kind of get through this anxiety of having there's way too much to learn out there. And if there's anything else that you guys have questions about, please put them in the comments. And I'd love to like to riff and talk about different ways to like find out what's actually worth learning. Meanwhile, I know that you could probably like this video as well. And either way, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, see ya.